Back in October, Best Buy announced that they'll no longer be selling physical copies of games and movies starting next year. And the reason for that, or at least why they're citing, is because sales on those items have been down in recent years with many people choosing this to consume their content through various streaming sites and the like. And if they actually do want to buy digital versions of it, they'll buy it from those sites as well instead of buying physical copies. But if you're one of the people who chooses to consume your media this way, you may want to reconsider because this last weekend it was announced that Sony will be removing a lot of the Discovery content from their PlayStation Network. Sony is removing hundreds of Discovery titles from users' video libraries that they already purchased. Users who bought any of the hundreds of listed programs will no longer be able to access the content as of December 31st, according to a legal notice posted by the company. And this is clearly upsetting to many users who probably spent a lot of money to try to curate their content, thinking that they actually owned it for good and they have access to it no matter what. But that's clearly not the case in this situation. On Friday, one Reddit user asked if there was any way they could save their purchased content from Discovery, including several seasons of the reality show Dual Survival. I was actually under the impression since I owned it, I won't ever lose it, the post says. And that's where this user gets it wrong because they just assume that buying something online is the exact same thing as buying a physical copy of something that you actually hold in your hands and you can take home and do whatever with. Because when you buy something digitally, it's essentially just a glorified rental that the site that you buy it from allows you to watch it as many times as you want, so long as they either host it and you have an account on there. Like we saw in this situation, uh, once it's no longer on the PlayStation Network, well then, yeah, you no longer have access to it. Or for other reasons, like let's say your account gets banned or something like that. Well, there, you no longer have access to it in that situation either. I mean, you could spend a lot of money on content and your account gets banned and, man, it's gone. That's what happens when you buy something through the cloud. I mean, you can't actually grab a cloud or own a cloud. I mean, it's just nothingness out there. And that's what the problem with this type of digital content is and why I think people should focus more on physical media but there might be some people thinking like well is there any legal ramifications for this and maybe there's a little bit of a false advertisement aspect to this but they do kind of address this stuff in their terms of service and everyone has to agree to their terms of service in order to buy this stuff so maybe there's not really much that they can actually do because i was just kind of exploring through it earlier and this is what it says availability of video content is subject to change at any time without notice to you and then you have this section right here talking about what happens in the event that your account is terminated. And I touched on that a little bit ago. Upon termination of your account or any associated child account for any reason, you will not receive a refund for items, including subscriptions, virtual items, and prepaid products or services. Value accumulated on in-game items or any unused balances in your wallet, except as required by law or as expressly provided in this agreement. And this reminds me of something that came out recently where Christopher Nolan says that you can't rely on streaming services to watch stuff that you really want to watch. And Guillermo del Toro backed him up on that one saying it's the responsibility for people to actually buy physical media. And I'm not going to go out and say that you should never watch anything on streaming service or never have digital rentals or whatever stuff like that because I do that stuff myself too. But there's a difference because if it's a movie or a show that I really do enjoy and I want to be able to watch it whenever I want, then I buy a physical copy of it. If it's a movie or a show that I'm not too sure about or I don't really care about if I don't get to see it again, then I might just watch it on a streaming platform. And a digital purchase, I would say, is somewhere in the middle of that. It's something that you want to be able to access more often, but you don't care enough about to actually buy the physical version of it. And I think that's what people need to understand is if you want to do that and you want to buy physical content, then that's great. If you just want to buy a digital things, then okay, fine. But just understand you're ultimately just buying a rental. And I don't think that's something that we actually should do if it's something that you really do care about.